Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO team up video. And guys, we're gonna be looking at Vile Plume today, which isn't even from Team Up, but this card has gotten a lot of hype in the past few days in Japan after Shintaro, the former world champion from 2016, had a Vile Plume deck using I think it had like Verizian GX, Snorlax EV, Tag Team GX, and it also had um Buzzable Pheromos in the deck. That was a really cool deck. Unfortunately, the deck kind of doesn't work in our format at the moment. One card that was really popular and really potent in Shintaro's deck was Red, which allows you to discard two cards from your hand unless you search your deck for any two cards or any card or something like that. But we don't have that card yet, which is one of the things that made this deck so good because it was so easy to get a Vile Plume play. But I've tried my best to make a Vile Plume deck myself here in Standard using what we have to work with. I had a Venusaur Vile Plume deck built also, but I'm going to go with Vile Plume, Jirachi, Pheromos. I don't know. Let, we'll just try this build out. Before we get into today's PC Joe video, of course, guys, shout out to the sponsor Card Cavern TCG. If you guys need to get any team up codes, or if you guys are looking for some Mel Metal codes, Card Cavern has some Mel Metal codes for you guys. So you can definitely go check them out and use discount code LDF. For a discount on your purchase. So, Vile Plume, yeah, Shintaro played Vile Plume on stream in Japan, and the deck did okay. Um, it did good for him. Vile Plume has gotten a lot of hype. One of the things that makes Vile Plume so powerful is the ability Disgusting Pollen. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's basic Pokemon can't attack. This is a really strong ability. Now, in our current format, this ability can shut down Zapdos. You can shut down Pikachu, Zekrom, Venusaur, Celebi. Um, it can shut down a lot of basics. Okay, there's too many to name, but those are some of the big ones, obviously, um, are like Celebi, Venusaur, Pikachu, Zekrom, Zapdos being a really big one. On other basics like Baby Buzzwool, Buzzwool GX, ne Ultra Necrozma, Giratina, stuff like that. So Disgusting Pollen is really good. Now, in the Japan format, it's a bit stronger because there's a lot more big basic Pokemon and a lot more other big basic tag teams that are really popular over in Japan. Uh, we don't have Buzzle Fermosa yet. Gardevoir Sylveon is pretty popular over there. So there's, there's a lot of big basic Pokemon in Japan that are really popular right now that aren't popular in our current format because we don't have them yet. So Vile Plume in our current format, I think, is kind of underwhelming. There's still a lot of evolutions. You got Zoar, you got a little Ninetales GX, you got Gardevoir GX. Okay, you got a lot of basic Pokemon that can attack you, and it does hurt Vile Plume quite a bit. I feel like Vile Plume definitely will struggle here in our format at the current moment. It's not. It, Vile Plume will be good once we get all these big GXs like Pheromosa Tag Team, Buzz, uh, Lucario, Mel, Mel Metal, all these tag teams. Once they come out, Vile Plume will get a lot better because there's going to be way more basic scene play than evolutions. Right now, really all we have to work with is like Pikachu, Zapdos, and Zapdos, you know, Coco GX, Tapu Koko, Pissimian, just stuff like that, um, which are popular cards, don't get me wrong, and you can auto-win those matchups when you get a Vile Plume in play. One thing that I also don't like about Vile Plume is the fact that you have to build this thing up manually, and this thing takes quite a while to actually power up. You need two Grass Energies and a Colorless Energy, which will take you a long time to build up. This is one of my main issues with playing Vile Plume here, is it just needs too much energy to get going. But you get it built up if your opponent can't attack you for a few turns, you're golden, and then Downer Shock can start doing, you know, some good things. It's not a great attack. Flip a coin of heads, your opponent's active is now asleep, tails, they're confused. It's not that great. But, you know what, it gets the job done when your opponent can't damage you. Now, what would you play it with right now? Well, Shintaro played it in his deck using Snorlax and Eevee Tag Team GX, Verizian GX, uh, and also Buzzle Fermoso was in his list, I think. And again, his list had one of the biggest supporters that we're going to get, and that's going to be Red. We don't have Red yet, so we can't really use Red and Vile Plume in the same manner. So I've replaced it with Jirachi for Stellar Wish, allowing you to look at the top, you know, five cards of your deck. But this is just a bit more basic compared to Red, but... When we get that red card or blue card, whatever it's called, where Jirachi's gonna get a lot, you know, we don't need Jirachi. But this deck will get better when we get that. Buzzle Fermosa makes this deck better too. So, speaking of Fermosa, you know, we might as well play two Fermosas. I mean, why not? I, it's pretty good actually. You have the Fear Retreat Fermosa, we can use B String in the deck. Uh, we got Cruel Spike and Beauty GX. Beauty GX coming in the late game. I'm gonna be playing one copy of Shuckle also, just here so that we can use Protective Shell. 
to be able to maybe buy a few turns so that we can power up our vile plume uh shuckle is pretty hard to deal with sometimes there are decks out there even like zapdos will struggle to deal with shuckle so it's just a nice card to have in some matchups it's not great all the time but it is there and i'm just gonna be playing a 4-4 vile plume line and that's basically about it um now we go into the items and everything this was actually kind of hard to build um especially as when you play drachi you kind of have to devote to switching cards so that takes away from some of the other cards you wanted to play but I've tried to make this deck as kind of the best I could have. Um, one B string for your Faramosas. I play Energy Switch. If you B string and then Energy Switch to like a Vile Plume, this helps you build it up a lot faster. Two copies of Nest Ball to be able to put your stuff down. One Net Ball to be able to get your Grass Pokemon. Four Rare Candies to be able to go into Vile Plume, obviously. We don't play Gloom in the deck, we're just going to dedicate to Rare Candy. Uh, one copy of Stretcher. Something that I think you can remove is Resty Stretcher. I don't know if you really need it. I am playing two switch for Drachi, but you can also combo this with like Shuckle or you know, Faramosa or even a Vile Plume because they have a three retreat cost. Four Ultra Balls, be able to search for your Pokemon. I am playing Life Force and Shrine. The stadiums was kind of hard to deal with. I didn't know which ones to play. I didn't want to play too many Shrines because I am playing a couple GX Pokemon, but that doesn't really matter because most of the time you only use Faramosa GX. Um, I was really debating what stadiums I wanted to play. Was it going to be Shrine of Punishments, or was it going to be, you know, maybe Aether Paradise, which isn't terrible. You give your Oddish a bit more health. The problem with Aether Paradise, though, is then if it sticks in play, you're only doing, like, 30 damage to a Pikachu's Echo. So I, I did not like... I don't think Aether Paradise is that good in this deck. I'd rather play stadiums to get rid of Aether Paradise. Four Cynthia's, uh, two Judge, three Lilies, one Erica's Hospitality for the uh, supporter count, for the draw supporters. I am playing a Gardenia. I... You know, it's just for testing, but you can Gardenia your, you know, Fermosa, you can Gardenia your Vile Plume, pretty powerful card. Two Guzmas, so then, like, you know, Guzmas is good in this deck. The real person serves, though, to be honest, is to Vile Plume knock out, you know, your opponent's evolutions. Now, I'm playing two Judges. I think this deck does need some sort of, like, kind of disruption engine in the deck. Enhanced Hammer is also something I could consider playing in here. There are so many items already in this deck. You got Energy Switch, B-String, the Balls, the Candies, the Switches. I don't know. I don't know if you can really find room for Enhanced Hammer. So, I'm instead just going to play Judge. The best way I can disrupt the opponent is to put them to a four-card hand. I don't know. Now, here's where things get interesting, is my tools. So, two skateboards, pretty common stuff. Now, I'm actually going to be playing two Wishful Batons. But, yeah, since Field Blower is, like, non-existent right now in a lot of decks, we can actually use Wishful Baton with Vile Plume, and when it gets knocked out, we can move the energy to another Vile Plume, and we can kind of keep up the flow of Vile Plumes. This is why I like Wishful Baton. So one of the big problems that I had with Vile Plume is like, dude, it takes so long to build up. I was trying to test out Vile Plume when, you know, Vile Plume kind of broke out. And the biggest downfall of Vile Plume was even when you get it built up, it gets knocked out. And then you gotta rebuild up another Vile Plume. It's a big pain. So Wish of Baton kind of helps us ease that. You don't really need Choice Spam with Vile Plume, to be honest. I mean, I guess it's nice to have, but I don't really know if you really want Choice Spam with Vile Plume. There's not many other tools to play with Vile Plume in this list, unfortunately. There's not many I could have thought of um, in this deck. Like, you don't need Choice Band, I don't know. Um, again, you know, Choice Helmet, I actually was playing. Counter Gain is good in here, too, I guess. So, yeah, there are a couple, you know, tools you could play. But ultimately, I've got a wish with Taunt. Um, one B-String for Fermosas. Two Counter Energies. This is one of the ways we can actually power up our Vile Plume super quick when it comes down to it. Any basic Grass Energy. That's basically it for my Vile Plume Fermosa Jirachi list. I don't know, man. This deck, I I don't think it's great, but you know what? Vile Plume is showing potential in Japan. And obviously, when we get more bigger evolution Pokemon like Buzzle Fermosa, Gardevoir Sylveon, Melmetal, uh, Reshiram Charizard, all these other big evolution Pokemon that are going to pop off, Vile Plume will get a lot better. For now, it's kind of just chilling here, doing its own thing. It's a decent anti meta card. But there are still a lot of big Pokemon that can deal with this card. So it's not the greatest Pokemon right now in our format. But we're going to try it out and see how it does. Alright guys, let's get into a match here. I don't know. And yeah, this is... No, that... This could actually be Buzzle, maybe? We'll see. I don't know, man. I ain't liking our odds, though. Bioplume definitely is a deck that I don't know how it is right now. But again, we will try it. We do get a Shuckle... Oh, um... Oddish start not bad i actually don't mind this hand that much can attach the oddish or we could do triple poison i'm most likely assuming this is a buzzle buzzle nine tails deck yep might be might be zoark lycanroc 
we'll find out. The less, okay, so it is Buzztails. So Buzztails, I actually think we can beat. Ooh, we got a Judge for next turn. I might hold on to it. Uh, we'll put a Jirachi, actually, no, put another Oddish. Oh, we prized a pl What? Yo, did we actually prize three of our Vile Plume? Yo, how does that even happen? What, dude? How? How, 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 how? Okay, well, I'm gonna triple poison and then judge him. Or I can judge him now, actually, since he didn't do anything last turn. Yeah, let's judge him now. We'll get... Just pro poison and basically say, if you don't get a Pokemon, we win. Um, yeah. No, we didn't get much off that. I can't believe we actually prized three plumes. That's insane. Uh, yeah, we'll play down Jirachi, I guess. Why not? No, we'll triple poison. So my opponent will get knocked out next turn, or it'll be the other way around, and they'll beak it. We'll see. We judged him before. I could have held it. I probably should have done Cynthia anyway, so I think it was fine to play the judge. They found another Pokemon. That's fine, though. They'll get KO'd. Yeah, they're going to have to retreat, so that's fine. They got to give up energy. Works for me. Shuckle, hopefully, is going to do its job. I'm a little worried about Buzzwool knocking out my Oddishes, considering I prize all those Vile Plumes. It's going to be a while until I get one into play, so that's a little annoying. I'm going to get a Cynthia off of my Judge Rip. You're just gonna beacon. Alright, so that's fine. So we keep triple poisoning them. Um I can Guzma, which I kinda wanna do. Do Stellar Wish. If I get like a switching card, I might do that. Ooh, double rock rough. Interesting. It's weak to grass. Alright, we drew a lily. I guess we're put that's actually a bad idea because Lycanroc will just knock me out. But it's, I doubt he's playing DCE though. But you know what, I want to draw the extra cards. I don't want to play down the Shrine, we're going to need that. No energy for Vile Plume Rip. We did get a switch though. I think we just triple poison. We can save Guzma for next turn. We can like Guzma, one of the Lycanrocs, or Rockrocks maybe. Knock it out with Rap if we want. No energy though, which is unfortunate. We do want to be built, we want to start building up our Oddishes. It's fine though. I mean, I guess he needs the Lycanroc because he sees Vile Plume as a threat. He can't use Buzzwool, so there is that, I guess. He did grab Double Rock Ruff. No Nine Tails though, so we'll see if he. Whoa! Why is his hand so big? I just realized this guy's hand is massive. But he's gonna need to play down a Nine Tails to save his full picks. I'm assuming he has one because he did just grab Double Rock Ruff there off of his beacon, so he's probably gonna have a Nine Tails. But you know what? Shuckle should be safe for a couple turns, which is kind of cool. And I can Guzma maybe, bring out a Rockruff, knock it out, wrap. I can. I'll wrap the Rockruff that he builds up, I think. We'll see. I, maybe I should save my switching cards. Never mind, he's just gonna straight up Guzma my Oddish. Which I am fine with. Oh, why are you playing DCE, bro? And he Marshadows me, and I have the Switch. That's a rip. Alright, hopefully we find an escape board here so we can knock out this DC'd Rockruff. Which we didn't. I guess we have to retreat with energy, which I hate to do. So we'll do Erica's Hospitality first. Switch or skateboard. We do not get any. We did get a rare candy, but that's not working. Man, that really, that's rough. Getting rid of energy is not what we want to do. But we can knock out the Rock Ruff with Wrap. Bit of a waste for our GX tech, to be honest with you. But we gotta do it, man. We gotta get rid of that DC. There's no spell. So we can get Vile Plume. Somehow we didn't get off the prizes, though. But okay. We'll Ultra Ball here, get Vile Plume into play, and then slowly build it up. And hopefully Shuckle can buy us some time. And Shuckle's down, we can maybe get Beast Ring activated. If he attacks me with just uh, Lycanroc, Feramosa GX is going to be a really good card here. Though we did just waste our GX attack, which maybe could hurt us, I don't know. Oh, he's playing more than one DCE, that's kind of bad. But he can get rid of the other DC, which is good, because now we can attach it and knock us out. Which is awesome. Honestly, I don't even know if it's worth to build up a Vile Plume. It'll get knocked out anyways. I think we just wish him a ton in. I don't think he's playing Field Blower. Gonna bike again. We are in range. Oh, he's playing Plumeria. Ooh, he's playing the other Lycanroc, isn't he? Forgot the... Oh, I forgot about the other Lycanroc. I mean, it doesn't have Dangerous Rogue, which is fine, but the other Lycanroc does get rid of our energy. We don't have, like, the most insane amount of Grass energy. We only play 8. One of the only ways we can get him back is with a ton. If not, I would have played an Energy Recycler or Energy Recycle System. 
Gets rid of an E-Hammer, that's a huge discard to see. I mean, he can Twilight Eyes me here. But we'll just attach and triple poison. I don't even know if I want to do that. Maybe it's just best to build up my Oddish. I have no idea. I don't even know what I Ultra Ball for. I kind of want to keep everything in his hand. I guess we can get rid of you. We'll get rid of... Netball, maybe? I might actually need the Beast Ring, so we'll just keep that. We'll get Vile Plume down, finally. I don't see it surviving very long. Someone is calling me. If it's not anyone important, I'm just going to leave it alone. Alright, so we'll get you down. This is kind of rough. I don't really know where to put this energy. I could triple poison him, or I can start building up the Vile Plume. This might actually be more of a Feramosa deck, a uh, Feramosa show, because of the fact that Vile Plume isn't that effective against him. Once he puts the Dialonacy down, he can actually just one-shot Vile Plume with a Cell Rock. Third damage for each energy in your opponent's discard. He's only going to hit me for 60. Alright, Shuckle should live the turn. So I guess we can do this. Uh, might as well play Cynthia. Alright, counter energy is really, really good. And we'll just triple poison him. And hope for the best. Shuckle should live the turn. Yeah, he does have a DC. He, okay, he actually has no room for Dionysi now, which makes me a little bit happier. Ooh, get Tails. Alright, this is going to be a pain in my side, isn't it? He is poison, though. This is actually going to be a little tough. Can we draw grass energy? No, we don't. Why would we? I'm going to switch Andrachi here, I think. We're going to Cynthia. Looking for an energy. Not, not the energy I meant. We're gonna have to do this. Uh, we got Gardenia, got a Lily and a Cynthia. We have a Lily in our hand already. I got B String. B String seems okay. I can pop off with a Fermosa maybe next turn. Don't mind that. I guess we'll grab it, maybe. I don't know, he might knock out my Shuckle. I really want counter G activated, so this I'm like really hesitant on wanting him to knock out Shuckle, which I'm tempted to do. Stellar Wish. And we'll grab probably Cynthia. I don't know if I need Gardenia. Like, it would be nice to heal Shuckle, but it's not doing much right now. And we'll pass. Obviously, we do not want to attach the counter G. Does it discard an energy anywhere? No, it's from our active. So I guess I could have, but yeah, it'll get hammered away or plumeriaed. Well, this is like the worst case scenario if we're going to play against a Lycanroc deck. One thing this deck cannot afford to do is lose energy, and yeah, this is something that is going to happen. She's going to knock me out. He's taking a lot of poison damage, but he's going to be able to retreat next turn. So that's why I want to lose Shuckle, so I can just pop down the shrine. So we got the Fermosa. We'll Stellar Wish. There's Life Force. We will gladly take that. I don't even think... He'll probably bump the life force, I'm gonna be honest with you. He'll probably bump it, but we got one turn out of it, I'll take it, sure. It's not really doing much, but you know, I'll take it anyways. This is risky, but I'm tempted to touch the counter G now. And then just hope it doesn't get discarded. He would need like a double Lycanroc, like another Guzma, and like a discard. I don't want to play it down now, but like... Counter G is the only way I can attack with Vile Plume next turn. So it's like really annoying. You know what? I might just let him knock out Nodish. Cause then I can retreat and go into Feramosa and his B string. You know what? Screw it. Let's do that. He's getting, he's getting finished off by poison, which is good. He's most likely gonna retreat. Uh, he might even ace Rolla, in which he's like 100% playing because it's like a no-brainer. 
to loop this card's ability, so he's probably going to heal it this turn. Wouldn't be surprised if he did an Ace Rolla. Which is bad. We can hit him with a Cruel Spike, though, which might be okay. We can maybe buy a turn, because he'll be confused. Alright, he plays that down now, which is good. So he's either going to Ace Rolla or Retreat. Probably has to retreat because we just knock him out with Pheromosa or you just let him get knocked out by poison. Maybe if we get another turn of life force though, we can actually really heal our shuckle, which is good. Let's see. No, he's gonna goose him, he's gonna knock out my shuckle. No, Jirachi. <sighs> That's really annoying because that completely disrupts what I was trying to do. Which was Retreat into Pheromos and Beast Ring. Now we gotta find another Switch or Escape Board. We might find him. This is a headache to play against, though. Oh my god. Yeah, awesome. So, disrupt my play completely. Great. So, we're gonna have to probably bring out Shuckle, since it probably won't get KO'd. Wish Robotop. I guess we'll attach it, as I don't wanna draw it. We'll drop Pheromosa, we'll Beast Ring. Gosh, we got two energy left. We're against Cynthia for the switching card. I'm risk I don't want to give counter energy is way too good not to discard. Alright, we got the escape board, we're golden. He'll be able to retreat any other Lycanroc. We won't get knocked out though, unless he like dangerous rogues me somehow, which could happen, you never know. The only problem is I don't think this grass energy is gonna stick. Maybe I should just wish a baton the Fermos instead of Bioplum. Whatever. Get tails. Yeah, just get heads, awesome. Just just get heads. We still have beast energy, we still have two grasses. Counter energy will not work, but we do have a few other cards to work with. Beast energy would be huge, because we can then hit him for like 190. Or 180 and then shrine maybe, I don't know. He just counter energy just nine tails. Oof, he may- Oh, there's the Ace Roll, uh, oh, you hate to see it. And he's gonna completely get rid of all my energy. <sighs> this is a lost cause, guys, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, this game is a lost cause. There is nothing I can do. There's, like, nothing I'm gonna be able to do, man. This is- this is a lost cause. Okay, he can actually just knock me out his GX deck. No, he can't, never mind. I'm wrong. I thought I did 50 for some reason. Okay, we can knock him out. I guess we'll take it, sure. And then just hope he doesn't finish me off with Snowy Wind. I mean, we get some benefit out of Beast Energy, which is cool. There's Counter Energy. There it is. Maybe I could have switched up Stellar Wish. Whatever. We'll knock him out. We take our two prizes. We probably will. I'm a whole we have an energy prize. I would like to get it. We did not get it. We did get another plume. We get another plume in play. We'll see though. If Pheromosa somehow lives the turn, which could happen. Oh no, we get a sublimation he actually. Never mind. Rip. How many units does he play? Two. He's gonna bring out the nine tails because he has the energy. Yep. Good thing counter energy's not activated though. That would be really bad. So, if he gets the unit energy here, he can sublimation me. Yeah, get rid of my energy. Great. If he doesn't KO me here, I think we're still screwed because, like, he can just sublimation me. But, you know what? I can go into maybe the Shuckle and buy some time. We just, we can't get any value out of counter energy, though. We have to attach, hope the energy stays on the Vile Plume, and then counter energy to even attack. But Vile Plume is not doing much in a matchup where he attacks him with evolutions. This is why Plume ain't good right now, man. But trust me, man. Once we get all these other big basic tag team GXs, Vile Plume is going to become a very powerful card. Trust me. With the energy. He's not going to whiff it, is he? He's not going to whiff it. He's been getting so lucky. Yep. Why am I not, why, why, why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? He's been getting insanely lucky this match with all his heads. Just the yeah, ashes. What's this giving me energy? Definitely not salty at all, guys. I don't know. This is... This game's basically over. 
to be honest. Uh, how many does this give? Yeah, only two awesome, so we can just use one. I love it. No energy attachment this turn. Well, you know what? When in doubt. No, that's stupid. Let's Ultra Ball, get rid of these two. We have three energy left in the deck. Got a judge. I don't know if that's helping, to be honest. We know he has Lycanroc in his hand. Maybe we can use this. Like, Shuckle ain't gonna be by me anytime. So, there is a problem. He's already got two energies on him. To be fair, he's only doing 10 with the Light Forest in play, so maybe it is better to attack with Shuckle here. We still have the other counter if it really comes down to it. We're getting rid of his, like, discarding cards. Okay, good thing I played that. We did get a stretcher. Okay. I can get back for Mosa, maybe? I just don't want it to be stranded in the active, though. That's, like, the only problem. But I can get it, though. We have Gardenia for next turn, which is kind of cool. Which I'm a poison. All right. We'll see if Shuckle is the MVP and maybe by this time. Who knows? He's only doing 10 damage to me with Life Force. Depending on what happens, he's probably burned through a few of his hammers. You counter energy might stay on my active this turn. And we don't even need to attack with Shuckle next turn because he's already poisoned, so maybe we'll be okay. It's an Ultra Ball. Get rid of Injection of Cynthia. No, he's gonna get the Life Rock. And he's gonna Lily for six. Yeah, you know what? Let's just judge him into the hand he needs to Lily for six and get rid of my energy at the same time. Okay, now Cynthia. Even worse. Well. I mean, he's still low on cards, I'm not surprised. And he bumps the stadium! Oh, no. If he didn't bump that, guys, I think we would have been in a really good spot because he's only doing 10 damage to me with Snowy Wind. We would have forced him to do some other things with the Cell Rock. I mean, I guess he's going to hit my bench Pokemon. He's probably going to hit the Oddish, actually. We can Gardenia, though, which is kind of lit. Then he'll go down to one prize. Yeah, this matchup, this match is not going anywhere. I, I like... He's weak to grass, which is, like, insanely good, but our numbers are actually just not relevant enough, considering we rely on more or less beauty, GX, like, Fast Raid wouldn't even knock out a, a 70 HP Rock Rook, which is pretty pathetic. Which is pretty pathetic. Yeah, just pass. Because if I bring Drachi, he just straight up wins. He might just have game anyways with Guzma. He's only played two. So we probably lose. We probably lost, guys, unfortunately. Not much I can, not much I can really see us, you know, I don't think we can win. Maybe if, like, somehow this gets knocked out somehow next turn, this thing's got 30 damage on it, this thing's got only 70 HP, Vileplume could KO if it gets, if it gets heads on the coin flip. I don't know, man. Vileplume is not destined to be an evolution deck that discards your energy. Considering this is one of the problems with Vileplume right now is evolutions and energy, you know, acceleration, so yeah, then he wins, so. There you go. But yeah, this is the problem of Isle Plume, man. We just got the worst of both worlds. An evolution deck and a deck that can get rid of your energy. Considering, again, Vile Plume relies so heavily on trying to build up energy very slowly. When it gets when that gets disrupted, what can what, what he's not taking the win? Are you good? Um okay, I don't know why I didn't do that. I mean we lose anyways, there's no way around it, but still, he had the win. I don't know why I didn't take it. Yeah, there's no way to do anything. Rip. We got literally the worst matchup. However, you know what? In my defense, we took a decent amount of prizes. We put up more of a fight than I honestly thought we could have, so that's good. But no Vile Plume action. You gotta play against an all-basic deck. We'll see, though. Pikaram, maybe. Zapdos. We'll wait and see. Alright, guys. We're gonna be trying out Vile Plume again. We gotta just hope for an all-basic deck. And alright, Dragon, Lightning, and Psychic. Um, this actually is Rayquaza Naganadel. Okay, so the only thing that can get in my way is Naganadel. But, a deck like Rayquaza relies just on basics. So, we could be at an advantage here. 
Okay, we got the Feramosa start. Not bad. There's honestly not a bad starter for this deck that isn't Oddish. Like, you start Feramosa, you can attack on turn one, then go Cruel Spike. If you start with the other Feramosa, you have a free retreater. If you start with Jirachi or Shuckle, you also have an advantage. So, that's cool. There's not really a bad starter for this deck. I like that. Ooh, it's Pikaram. Okay, so... Hmm, I don't know. It's Pikaram, they're not playing any evolutions, and we can literally auto-win with Vileplume. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can actually just pull out a win because it's an all-basic deck. We'll see. We don't have a great hand, and if I, we actually don't get Nodish down, we might get, like, tag-bolted, so we'll see what happens. Just gonna grab a Lele. I guess this is a Rayquaza Pikaram deck. I've seen people talk about using Rayquaza with Pikachu Zekrom. We'll see though. My opponent might also be playing a Lilio. Okay, never mind. So this is a Pikaram deck. We gotta hope this thing doesn't get built up quick because we probably will need to build up a Vileplume. It's gonna Lily. We need to get like three Oddishes down so they don't get tag bolt. Like that's one way you can get around me. It's kind of bad I have this in play now, actually, thinking about it. Do a Cynthia. I guess we'll attach. We'll Cynthia here. Really gotta hope we get an Oddish or something like that. We do. We do get a Jirachi, which is also pretty good. I think we just get Oddish down. Or maybe I should have got Jirachi. We have Ultra Ball, though. We have quite a, got quite a good hand. We'll just fast right in for 30. Not great. We actually probably will lose Farmosa here, maybe. Feramosa might go down. Maybe I should have just got a Jirachi instead of an Oddish. But if we get Vileplume in play, my opponent's like, well, yeah. What do I do? Nothing. Ooh, two energy switches get discarded. That is actually ridiculous. Uh, unless he's playing like a dual version of this kind of archetype, then he might actually not even play Electro Power. I say that and he plays it. All right, rip. That's fine. Literally, if we get a Vile Plume in play, my opponent probably cannot win the game. He's gonna Cynthia. Yikes, we're actually gonna need a booming turn here to like prevent him from like taking like nine prizes. This kinda sucks now that I start with this, because he's gonna take two prizes. He's gonna get a pretty big lead in prizes. We have counter energy activated, which is cool. Oh, he's playing again, Adele. Oh, that's really bad. But he isn't even getting a Poipo in play, which is pretty good. And if he ever does get a Poipo down, maybe we can, like, Vile Plume knock it out with getting a Poison effect. That could be lit. Well, at this point, it's not going to have room for it. Another Negandal gets discarded. Yes, please. And Dance of the Ancients. He's going to get a bunch of energy in play, thanks to... Full Blitz. Oh my gosh, this is bad. <laughs> Good thing we're not playing like another beatdown deck because we would probably lose at this point considering all the energy he's going to amass. But we are going to be able to try and Vile Plume him here. We'll see. We don't have a great hand though, which is my only problem. We're relying pretty heavily on a Jirachi here. Maybe I shouldn't have Nest Ball for Oddish, but if we get Vile Plume in play, we can plop it down. He is down two Naganadels, which is huge. Considering he's got to find room for Electro Power and everything, he might not even play more than just, like, two. That was probably the best topic I could have gotten. Uh, we're probably going to have to get rid of Life Force, though, unfortunately. I guess Counter Energy can go. I, it does not matter at this point. It really doesn't. It does not matter. If I bump the Stadium, it does not matter. We'll get Jirachi. We'll see if we're able to stick here. Lily for six. Rare Candy Bop. Ooh, we didn't get it. Rip. Okay, well, this is bad. We can netball for another Oddish. Okay, hold on. Before we do it, Ultra Ball. There we go, we got Bop. Bop is in play. It cannot attack right now, but it is in play. I guess Grass and Oddish have to go. Because I actually... No, we took out Richard Baton. Why didn't I get rid of that? I just realized we already, had, we already had a thing on an Oddish. 
I have to be active, right? Yeah, okay, rip. He might just Guzmuff tag bolt me. I shouldn't have gotten rid of Oddish. Yeah, that was a terrible misplay on my end. I should not have gotten rid of Oddish, rip. I guess he could have just tag bolt me anyways. Whatever. We got Bileplum active, though. But if he Guzma tag bolts me here, yeah, I'm screwed. We need to get, like, multiple Vileplumes in play to prevent this. But he cannot damage me with anything on the board right now. So we might have a turn to survive, maybe. I don't know. This is pretty bad. Maybe, I, yeah, I should have just put Oddish down. But I guess he'll knock me out regardless. Still, though, if he does a Guzma play, it wouldn't have mattered. He's going to Volkner. This is probably going to get him an Ultra Ball, so he can Guzma my Vileplume. So I need to get, like, two Oddishes down to guarantee it. Yeah, he sees the Guzma. Yeah, why did I get rid of Wish of a Ton? That was a stupid play on my end. That was really dumb. Oh, he's playing Ultra Ball now, though. Okay, interesting. Gets rid of... He might get a Zero Aura. He might get Poi Pull, actually, too. No, he's getting Zero Aura. Oof. Okay, I don't know what he's planning, then. Is he gonna Tempest? If he actually Tempest here, this is good, because then he can't do Tag Bolt. He's gonna marsh out of me. Alright, well, he has no room for anything. No room for Naganadel, which is good. I don't mind this as long as I get... Okay, we got Double Oddish, and we got a Judge. Okay, so we at least have something to work with. We need to get a Grass Energy, because we obviously need to start getting damage on Pikachu, who's that grown. So, if he wants, he can knock out Drachi, which he's not gonna do, which is smart. We just drew an Erika's Vitality, that is incredible. Should get synergy. Alright, it kind of did. Uh, not the energy I was hoping for. Whatever. At least we get to attack him. Now, I hope we confuse him here. Nice. So this forces him to have the Guzma. He only drew four cards. He's played one Guzma. He's gotten a room for Lele, so he's literally relying on like five cards here. And he can't KO all of my Oddishes, which is good. So that's nice. Hopefully we can top deck Rare Candy here so we can just put another Vile Plume down. That would be, like, incredible. If I had, like, a Switch of Skateboard play, I can try and Stellar Wish for my other Rare Candy. But the Double Vile Plume is huge because we can get two more Vile Plumes down. So, the Vile Plume magic is working. We'll just see how long we can make it work for. We're in desperate need of, like, Rare Candies here and stuff. We have Stretcher if we ever need it. That's good. We can actually B-String Stretcher, which is a bad idea, because then we lose. We drew Guzma, Rip, that's not helping. I might just judge him again. I could Guzma and then just hope I get a Switch or another Skateboard. That's actually dumb. Why would I do that? Um, yeah, I guess I judge him and then... Hold on. Actually, you know what? We're going to play this so I don't draw it. I might just stretch her for another Oddish. Actually, no. I don't want to put too many Pokemon down. Whatever. We'll stretch him. Or judge him, sir. He had a Guzma. It's no longer in his hand. Maybe. Oh, uh, we got the rare candy, but no vile plume. That kind of sucks. Okay, well, we can downer shock him again. See if he gets poisoned this time. Get more damage on him. Alright, we gotta hope he didn't get a Guzma here off this judge. Again, he's relying on this judge to four. Sucks I had to use that other counter energy because that's actually going to hurt me. <laughs> wow, rip. Rip, rip, rip. He gets two prizes. This is pretty much game over, maybe. Whoa! Oh, I was gonna say, why did he not damage the bench? I was like, what? Just pause for a sec. Okay, well, it's not over yet, though it probably is, because we just lost both counter energies. Okay, we need to get Valkyrie play here. Valkyrie top deck. No. Nope. No, we did not get it. We can Shrine, though, which is cool. Would have been nice to get Shrine out a little bit earlier. Cynthia. Got a hobie hit Bileplume here. Rare Candy Bileplume. What? 
We get the rare candy, but not the vile plume? Bruh, are you kidding me? Oh, we had a switch too. That is that is that, that, what? Oh my gosh, guys, we're just gonna lose. Oh no. Not even other Oddish to save their meat. Wow. He's got the other Doomsman in his hand, most likely. <laughs> what? Did we didn't even get the other vile plume. <laughs> Oh, not even another Ultra Ball. Dang. Oh, he's gonna multi-switch, not Guzma me, though. Okay. Could there still be hope? I mean, we have to hope we draw a Vile Plume here, because we lose our Jirachi. But if we can get the Vile Plume play, we might have a shot. There's a Shine in play, this thing's heavily damaged. There, we could actually, we could pull off something here if we're able to draw a Vile Plume and then go from there. Vile Plume top deck, please, give me it. And then he has no way to knock it out other than Poiple. Vile Plume, come on, this is like the one turn I need Vile Plume off my top deck. Oh my gosh, we hit it, bruh. Oh my gosh, there's a chance, there's actually a chance to win this. I'm just gonna pass. We're not even gonna judge him. I don't think I need to. I'd rather save it. We can probably win the game now. We can probably win. Because there's literally no way he can deal with this Vile Plume. I don't know. That was an insane top deck. I'm actually in, but so shocked right now. Drew the Lily. Might as well play it. Let's try and thin. There's a Guzma. Do I want to take prizes, though? I'm fine with it, because if he mentions a Poipo, we can try and Guzma it up and then knock it out down or shot. And I don't even know if Nagandel will save him, because we have Gardenia. And he gets to see. Oh no, we don't poison him, that's right. Never mind, whatever. I still think we're okay to win this game regardless. Once this goes down, the, we'll take out two GXs probably by the time, and then we just need one prize to win, so yeah, we should win this game. I don't know how we're going to pull this win off. Looks like it's going to happen, though. If he does bump the shrine, yeah, we'll see. So we can take our prizes now. Uh, I'd rather just wait a turn. Might as well attack this. The more prize we take, the more likely we'll win. If we clutch this up with one Vile Plume in play, I'm going to laugh. And it might actually happen. He's gonna get knocked out going into his turn though, that's the problem. That's fine though. Take our prize. What do we get? We got a Jirachi. We can also Gardenia any damage he does with turning point. Which is just yeah. And if we put him to sleep for gold. So we take our three prizes. Guzma's amazing, another energy, beast energy. Guzma is huge. Guzma's huge. And we should win the game here. Even if he benches a Poipole, we can just not get Rayquaza because we have two Guzmas. The only way he can stop me is if he judges me. Oh my gosh, we're actually about to clutch this one up. He could spit poison me, I guess, if he wants. And there's Volkner, which means we win unless he gets like a peeking red card or something. I actually can't believe we just managed to... <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe we're actually about to just win with a Vile Plume. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, oh my gosh. Yo. Yo, you gotta leave a like for that. You gotta leave a like for that clutch, dude. You have to. You gotta leave a like for that clutch win. Oh my gosh. That is dirty. That is insane. He only had the two Nagandals. Did he have a stretcher? He did. Okay, so he had a stretcher. So, yeah. Wow. And he had another counter stadium. So, wow, dude. We got so lucky there. Oh my gosh. Gosh, you have to leave a like for that insane win. I'm gonna wrap these PCO video here, guys. Vile Plume Man. Again, you can beat matchups like Rayquaza, but you can't beat matchups like Lycanroc Nine Tails. But yeah, this.
deck will get a lot better for sure. Vileplume will become a huge threat once we actually get more big basic Pokemon that will see a lot of play. Then Vileplume will be really powerful. For now, it's probably not worth it to play a Vileplume deck. Though you can play your odds and then just hope you play against something but Zapdos, Pikachu, Zekrom, and maybe Vileplume can come through. But man, I can't believe we won that game. That's insane. You gotta leave a like for that win. Thanks for watching today's PTO video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in another PDCGO video. Check out Card Tavern TCG. Use discount code LDF, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.